So, while I was reading this week's chapter of One Piece, I was totally surprised. Yes, why was I surprised? It's because I totally forgot about this character. Yes, totally forgot about him. The person I'm talking about is Law. Yes, for a long time, I forgot that Law was actually on Wano because we didn't see him in the scenes are in the chapter for a long time now everybody was doing their own thing even luffy was wouldn't get poison chopper was trying to come up with a cure to cure luffy and we know that when chopper come up with the cure or the antibody luffy body will will adapt to this um arch yes arch virus and because of it he was gonna he's gonna get more stronger and i can't wait to see what's gonna happen or will luffy actually get more stronger from this from this encounter Will his conqueror Aki actually go up a level because of the stress, because he have to stay focused, because he have to dull the pain with his willpower? Maybe because of this, his conqueror Aki is going to go up a level. Now, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now, it seems like Kid, finally, yes, finally get back in the groove to get his revenge against Kaido and the rest of his ally or his ex-ally. Because of this, I was thinking, Kid. If you're going to form an alliance, think about the person you're going to form the alliance with. He formed the alliance with um, Apu and, and Hawkins. So because both of them betray Kid right out there. Yes, they betray Kid so quickly that Kid was actually have a trauma of forming an alliance. Because Luffy was saying, join my alliance to go up against Kaido. Because Kid was actually afraid of Kaido because Kaido beat him. Kaido put the... Put, put the most terror yes Ka Ta Kaido beat, beat kid so much that kid was terrified of Kaido and because of this terrified he actually formed a trauma and because of this trauma he didn't want to go up against Kaido and because of this I was thinking seriously you don't want to go up against Kaido and you was forming an alliance go to go up against Shanks yes Shanks who was who, who was fighting white bear Shanks who actually can take down Kaido you're afraid of Kaido and you was going after Shanks. Seriously. So, I was thinking of this. Kid, kid, um, kid Alliance did, did have a death wish to go after Shanks because of Kaido. Kaido was Kaido seemed like he's weaker than Shanks and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now, Zoro was talking to Momonosuke's sister, sister because he was talking about his sword when he was taking out those uh, ninja. So, because of the sword... Because this monk take away Zoro's sword, Zoro said his bell feel empty. So because of this, I was thinking, the monk said, you don't know the volume or the volume of this sword. Maybe it don't, Zoro doesn't know the weight this sword carry. And because of it, I can't wait to see what Zoro is going to do when he meet this monk again. Now, what I was thinking, imagine if all those famous swords have a special ability of their own. It will be, it will be one of the most epic scenes. To see if this actually happened. Because this famous sword was forged in Wano country. And because there was for forged in Wano country. Oh, did they escape the country? Oh, did they go around the world if they were created in the Wano country? I can't wait to see if, the if there's going to explain this in the future. So, maybe what? Five to eight days left until the epic climax between the, kid the Kaido pirates. Are the beast pirate versus the straw at alliance? I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Or will Luffy and the rest of the straw at overcome these obstacles that was in their way? So remember to subscribe or like the video. Comment in the comment box if you feel like it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in future episode or review of One Piece.